This segment demonstrates a step in the powerful words strategy. Students identified powerful words that were selected from the same text in a previous shared reading lesson. These words have been covered and students use context clues to select the correct word. The teacher helps students clarify the meaning of each powerful word. The children yesterday read this story, uh, The Umbrella by Jan Bratt. We read this story to look for rich language, to generate vocabulary that was new to them and to help them understand the new vocabulary. And we want to use this language in our writing. We found these six words down at the bottom, six new words in our story. And now we're going to do another shared reading of the same text. And those words have been hidden. And we're going to try to find them in our text. When you find the word, you're going to put your hand up and you're going to first we're going to talk and turn to our neighbor and see if we can figure out what word fits in there and then I'll ask you to stop on the count of three and then we'll turn back and we'll talk about what word fits in there and why it fits in. As the umbrella floats by, he blanks in, making it sink even deeper into the water. The animals scramble and squirm out of Jaguar's way. Up our bed. Froggy squeaks in Jaguar's ear. Be our guest, the animals cry. Just don't eat us up, is what they think to themselves. All right, turn and talk to your neighbor. See what you think might. Okay, one, two, three, back to me. Kirsten. Pounces. Pounces. As the umbrella floats by, he pounces in, making it sink even deeper into the water. Do you think that's the word? Okay, thumbs up. Up or down if you agree with Kirsten. Okay. Why do you think that makes sense? What do we know about the word pounces? Nicholas? Because he just like came in, he like jumped in. Okay, he just jumped in. Evan? It means like kind of he, he, he just barged in instead of asking. Okay. Yeah, I like the word you used there. It's a good synonym. 